Despite leaving KISS because he felt creatively limited, Ace Frehley would not release an album for five years after his departure. He formed a band in 1984 called Frehley's Comet that consisted of himself on lead guitar and lead vocals, John Regan on bass, Anton Fig on drums, and Richie Scarlett on guitar and lead vocals. Arthur Stead would join briefly on keyboards, followed by Rob Sabino. Scarlett left the band with Todd Howarth being brought in on guitars, keyboards, and lead vocals, effectively replacing both Scarlett and Sabino. They were signed to Megaforce Records, who then got a distribution deal with Atlantic. Ace teamed with Eddie Kramer to produce, as he is Ace's favorite producer. The album was initially meant to just be called Fraley's Comet, but Atlantic felt they needed to put Ace's name on the cover, which is why it appears there, despite Ace's desire to have more of a band and less of a solo project. The album was released on July 7th, 1987, meaning that the day of this video's release should be the album's 35th anniversary. The cover is pretty cool. It's space with a comet passing. I dig it. But before we get to the review proper, be sure to like and subscribe, and you can support the channel on Patreon. This is written by Ace and Chip Taylor. It's sort of an autobiographical song about a car wreck Ace was in in 1983. The story the song tells is pretty cool, meant to sort of be an inspirational battle cry, and it's got a big catchy chorus that I like a lot. Musically, it's got this great drum sound from Fig, and I like the guitar. There's this lick that comes in during the verses, but is also the foundation of the chorus that I just love. It's kind of unique, and the guitar solo is solid. This is written by Ace, Eric Carr, and Scarlet. The song dates back to the music from the Elder Sessions. Ace and Eric wrote the music, but could never figure out lyrics, so it didn't make it. Scarlet added the lyrics in 1984. Kiss would also use this song as car jam on the Revenge album, with Bruce Kulick replacing Ace's guitar parts. Scarlett originally sang the song, but Howarth naturally takes over the lead vocals here. And I like his voice a lot, some great delivery. The riff is very cool, there's a great groove to the song, chorus is solid, the guitar solo is great, and there's some terrific drumming from Fig. Good stuff. <laughs> By Russ Ballard, this is a cover tune. Obviously hoping lightning would strike twice, as Ballard had written New York Groove. This was originally recorded and released on Ballard's self-titled 1984 album, which is honestly a pretty solid album. I like the song a lot. It's got a great chorus with solid lyrics and a cool solo. The outro is very cool as well. This is written by Howarth, who also provides lead vocals. It's about Ghost, I guess. The verses are fun, the chorus is catchy, I like the riff a lot, and the solo was pretty cool, particularly the harmonies at the end. This is written by Ace and Marty Coopersmith. The latter wrote the initial version of the song in 1983, with Ace adding to it later. There's some cool guitar stuff on it, but for the most part, I think this is pretty weak sauce. The verses are kind of boring, and the whole thing is kind of corny. We got your rock? Eh... I'm not really crazy about these lyrics. Pretty good solo, but this is filler. This is written by Ace and Ira Schickman. It's got a decent riff, and I do like the music and arrangement, particularly of the chorus, but something about the lyrics and Ace's voice throw me off. It does have a good hook, though. The song has been stuck in my head for a good couple days. This was written by Ace, Howard, Kevin Russell, and Jim McClarty. It was recorded by Howard's previous band, 707, under the name Megaforce in 1982. It was also featured as the theme of the movie Megaforce. It was decided to rework it with some new lyrics, hence Ace's writing credit on the track, and it was given a new title, so it didn't seem like they wrote a song about their record label. I love this song. It's one of my favorites from Ace's solo career. I think it's got a really terrific chorus, super catchy, and a great solo. This might be my favorite song on the album. I love it. This was written by Ace. According to him, he was working on material and the power went out, so he grabbed an acoustic guitar and went to his daughter Monique's room, which I guess had dolls in it. 
And also, according to him, there's no double meaning here. It's pretty straightforward. I hate this song. Might be my least favorite song Ace ever wrote. The lyrics are weird, and the whole thing is so corny. I just can't with this one. I can't. There was so much better material from Ace's demos, I have no idea how or why this song is on here. I think I've made this joke before, but Ace once said Kiss lost their balls without him, which is pretty confident to say when this is the stuff he was writing. This is written by Ace. I don't think the lyrics mean much of anything, but Ace delivers them with such confidence that they kind of end up working. Plus, I really like the chorus and the solo is solid. This is written by Ace and Regan, obviously a sequel to Fractured Mirror from the 78 album. It's kind of an 80s version of that song. It is nicely melodic and there's a lot of cool stuff to it. I like listening to it, but I don't think it's as strong as Fractured Mirror. It doesn't feel quite as big. The album peaked at number 43 with sales numbers I believe were close to 500,000 copies. It has not been certified gold to my knowledge, though Ace claims in his book that the album sold over 500,000 copies. Into the Night managed to reach number 37 on the mainstream rock charts, but that's about it. It's a pretty dang good album. I like Kramer's production a lot, particularly the drum sound. Some people resist the keyboards on it, including Ace himself. Ace puts that blame on Howarth, which I don't think is totally fair. Ace's pre-Howarth demos are pretty keyboard heavy too. I think it was just a reality of the time in which the album was recorded. It's nowhere near as strong as the 78 album with two major duds, We Got Your Rock and Dolls. But there's a lot to love. Rock Soldiers is a great anthem and one of the very few non-Kiss songs Ace still performs. Into the Night is a great cover. Breakout is fun and heavy, and I adore Calling to You. So overall, a really strong effort. Not perfect, but I like it a lot. Let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you for watching.